Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? What happened? You passed out on the way. Of course I Tried did. Tried shaking you awake. To no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help. That's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. I can only assume Pam so, is B, just having a screaming match right there's now. There's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. The whole message. clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why. What our aim is. Look around, V. War tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. <laughs> The rest mostly raid rinky dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. I just realized that there's way more people than before. Right? Or am I tripping? I'm not sure. The clan is solid salt. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like... V. Finally. How's your health? Been better. So? <clears throat> what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out. But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date, completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky, but if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps cirques. We would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Look at Pam um, trying so hard to help me out, even though there's a possibility that her and the whole Quinn could die. V, can you share your thoughts? Side. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked, Militech out in full force. It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Mm hmm What's a circ? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower, then go on to Mikoshi. The plan, entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. Want out? Want to cut your losses? I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. Damn. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Okay, but they are anything willing. Else you need? The fact that they are willing to still help me out. God bless them, seriously. Hey, you and Pan Am, something I need to know about? It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Damn. Pan Am thinks so too? You'd have to ask her yourself. CB, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden, the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least, I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. 
I need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Makoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She... It's... An AI from out past the black Are wall. you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. I talked to her before. She's the one you who know what? told me about Fine. this, so... We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Damn. Find a code. put it that way. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. That America's long gone and forgotten. You might as well have started with... Prep once coming along, all right? <laughs> you call this prep. I'd call it a damn improvisation. But that's just Can me. It, Bobby. Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Firepower up top. Uh, what is it? A rapid-fire 70-millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take her for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's Damn. Funny. Mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Afterburner, standard, nitro, or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So, nitrous oxide injection into military hardware? I heard Ruffins do the same thing with their armored pickups for going after convoys. Except it isn't exactly stable. You'd think you plain couldn't jazz up a panzer that way, huh? When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that already. Um, Let's Dakota. Let's get back to the matter at hand, shall we? Wait, she's here already? What? Okay, I guess I didn't really need to leave. Look at Pam. Are you okay, hon? Look at her hard working and everything. My goodness. Woman after my own heart. Like, honestly, if Pam Am wasn't straight, I would have been going after her. Hey, Dakota. Shamai, sister of the backers. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Wait, just like that? Not at all curious what I'm going in for. You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That's the path to a lasting relationship, sister. Everything is ready. You can go in. Shit. Okay. I spilled tub. Just like the last time when we were at that other person's place. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? Yep, even if I look like I'm about to flatline. All right, time to move. Follow the vector, sister. Oh my god, I'm here again. Back at Arasaka. And Alt Cunningham is right there waiting for me. The only uneasy about this is the fact that I'm actually alone for the first time in a long time. Johnny's not with me with his snarky little comments. He's just ghost. Hello, Alt. 
You come alone. This place changes every time. Feels like I'm deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside, with reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny is currently indisposed. Currently. He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Damn, I mean, since you put it that way. Seemed to me, you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Wait. Let me get this straight. Mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny? And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because for a second you were displeased and I seemed a side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. This all just an experiment to you? Are we just fresh data to analyze, do what you want with? This is not an experiment. It is a debate. The Johnny is absent proves that I have won it. What? Damn shame, really. You were out to prove him wrong, here, in person. But all you got is me. Think there's still some old Alt Cunningham left in you after all. Johnny also imagined he had more in common with you than with me. That Soul Killer had not changed him. That he too remains a human factor. And that is why he thought he could shape your will. No. Johnny's made his peace with my decision. Of course. He had no choice. He understands this now. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separate. Stop being by death. so cryptid and philosophical and get straight to the point. Like. Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary, they live forever. But we are not immortal. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. Oh, why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that? Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. <gasps> Guess that'd be human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect then? In Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this of question. Of course you fucking do. How can we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set him free. They will be integrated with me. Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. Huh. Hardly. Doubt you'll first gab with these constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Constructs will be integrated. I mean you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi, swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. 
Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. Hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Should I look for a specific access point? I can already tell you Ice all the way to Tokyo will be backing every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got her back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 105. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity my spiked bad. sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. <sighs> oh, Lord. I mean, she's just pissed off. I know. Nothing is all right, Carol. My mind, body, it's going to pieces. If I don't get to Mikoshi, calm I'm yourself, fast. child. You've got to keep it together. You're still buzzing with adrenaline. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have. Holy. What happened? Get it away from me. Damn. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. Oh, okay. my way. My bad, Dakota, for fucking up your technology. And also, Alt Cunningham just wants to destroy from within the whole time. Saul, you wanted a word? Hop up here. What? Well, what's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the raid. Hop on and you'll find out. Okay. Are you going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. Oh, it's about time we fix that. Downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Alda Caldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Oh my god. Ready, kid? I... So, you all sure about this? Does this look like one big jest? Look, I... I know what this means. I used to wear clan colors, too. But to be an Alda Caldo... I don't know. Just she... answer the question. Are you ready? Do your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Alda Caldo, damn it! Yes! Thanks for everything, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Mikoshi. Oh Isn't my that god! Welcome to the family. Okay, Damn. welcome for our newest Alda Caldo! Welcome to the oh clan! Oh my god, I'm about to cry right world. now. This is so... She's flabbergasted. She is! <laughs> What's it they say? Easier to gain a Cobra's trust than an Alda Caldo's? Well spoken. So, I know how much this means. To you, to me, thank you. We'll not let you down. Don't worry, it's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. Oh. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go mm. to hell. Oh. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. Is that a compliment? But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. Okay, it's a compliment. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. But this is still your night. Some basketball and found glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? 
Are you kidding? Oh shit. Are you all right? Whoa. Come yeah. on, come on, come on. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. <sighs> Miss this, you know? The camaraderie. I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too. In Night City, you're alone, even in a crowd. But here, feels like I'm part of something important. So you are where you need to be. Thanks, Pam. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Wow, this is amazing. I'm part of the family. Lord. Listen to this. Barbarians do not travel. I am so happy, bro. Look at this. I might have. You, you have uh, to look around. Not at me. So maybe I'll take two more 45s. I haven't found a dead magpie under the hood of my car. Today. It had been a cold night. The magpie, looking for warmth, had found the engine. And couldn't get out next morning. Got cooked alive. I still remember the smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Uh, okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, B. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. You know what? I'm gonna take all that shit. Thank you. Shit. Say no more. She said, take as much as I want, right? And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take, damn, look at all these weapons. Oh, Lord. I, you know what? Let me see something. I just noticed. I'm part of the avocados, right? Let me just talk to Mitch right now. Hold on. Let me see what he wants to say to me. What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. Hell yeah. Let me see. How do I hop in, exactly? Do I? Okay. Yo, I'm excited. I can't wait. And I'm gonna use this bad boy for tomorrow, too. All right, fire up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. Yes, I need it. Now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Weapon system online. So what do I do? Oh, okay. This is cute. Wow! Okay. Wait, I see something. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Uh, fixable, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the target in on the go. Damn, okay. All right, where am I cal- Okay, this one. I mean, it's all right, right? All right, I love blasting. Okay, I'm gonna I'm shoot that one. Yep, 
Is there any... Oh! There's two more over here. Okay, let me just scoot on by. Okay, and the last one right in here. Alright, that's probably good. Let's cool. head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. I'm glad I was able to get some sort of a practice test because if I'm gonna head in, back? yeah, we are. If I'm gonna head in full funnel, I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. No worries. I just want to be prepared, honestly. Nice. Nice, not bad. Mitch, you nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? <sighs> Why the hell not? It could be my last beer, who knows. Back during the war before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails during the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And wait, what? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? That's how you can they get just it. Airlifted too? the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. That's fucked up. And Cocktails every day we get crazy? fresh recruits. Still, they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. So not afraid of anything. At this point if only it was that simple i'm not concerned about tomorrow raids like that are second nature it's what's going on in the camp and eh, no matter i'm talking silly now what you mean come on all in the family now isn't it the truth is i'm concerned about the goings-on between pan am and saul what do you mean they seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough but folks here aren't slow There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's, What's your, your take? Yeah, what do Saul you think? Saul ought to step down, pass the torch to Pan Am. We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Well, my thoughts. Mitch, not gonna be facing a ragtag band of raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their They're shit. They're trying. Together. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now they both know what's expected of them, what the clan expects of them. <laughs> Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? Think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. I'll talk to Pan Am about it. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi? Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Pan Am will lose her chance at taking the helm. If she hasn't lost it already. Here's how it looks. Tomorrow goes off without a hitch. Saul gets the credit for leading. But if anything goes sideways... Blame on falls her. on Pan Am. Yep. She's the one who brought me into the fold. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. 
All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.